friends, it's Miss Stern, and it's so nice to see you as always. Would you please ask a grown-up if they would subscribe to the channel? Thank you for that. And stick with the story to the end so you can hear some ideas on what you can do after hearing the story. The story I have for us today is called Beluga Passage. And it's about a group of beluga whales who are going to leave their frozen home in the Arctic Ocean in winter to go south to the Bering Sea. It would be a great idea if you could ask a grown-up to help you find a map or a globe to see where we're talking about. So are you ready? Here we go. In the frigid Arctic Ocean, Beluga Calf and her mother glide to the surface and breathe deeply through their blowholes. The water churns and rolls around them, for they are not alone. It is fall, and thousands of white whales are on the move. Hmm, where do you think they're going? They are escaping a cold and deadly enemy, ice. Spreading from the north, the ice is forming a solid crust on the ocean. The belugas must stay ahead of the crust or they will be trapped beneath it. Racing the ice pack, they travel south toward the Bering Sea. Whoosh! Beluga calf and mother plunge underwater. Mother whistles and tweets to the other whales in their pod. Another mother warbles a reply. Beluga calf and a young friend twitter and chirp to each other, trying to mimic the sounds. Long ago, when singing like this rang through the hulls of their wooden boats, sailors called the beluga sea canary. Hungry, mother stops singing and dives deeper. Her head darts back and forth as she scoots along the ocean floor in search of food. She shoots jets of water from her mouth to uncover crabs and puckers her lips to suck up flounder. Beluga calf follows and tries to hunt, but she ends up with a mouthful of sand. She's only practicing. For months to come, she will live on mother's milk. Click, 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 click. Up above, the other whales begin to echolocate. Beluga calf and mother rise to the ocean floor to join them. Mother sends sh short, sharp clicks out into the water. She aims the sound by changing the shape of the dome on her forehead. The sound hits a school of smelt. When the echoes bounce back, she knows where the fish are. So do the rest of the adults. The whales surround the fish and herd them back and forth to wear them out. In the end, the school becomes a tasty meal. But the pod has fed too long. Already, the ice crust is creeping closer. The whales must move on. As they continue their journey, Beluga Calf and her friend swim close to their mothers, stopping only to nurse. A while later, Beluga Calf is coasting in mother's wake when the pod comes to a sudden stop. The belugas hear frightening sounds in the distance. The noise grows closer and louder until the water trembles with clicks and screams. Black and white orcas burst into view. They are herding a pod of terrified narwhal just as the belugas herded the smelt. Do you know anything about the food chain? See what you can find out. The belugas scatter, trying to get out of the way. 
But Beluga Calf's friend is too slow. Smack! An orca slams into him as it charges after the narwhals. As suddenly as they appeared, the giant hunters are gone. Pay attention to this part and see how they care for each other. The calf floats motionless in the water. Beluga calf nudges him and whistles weakly to the pod. A chorus of replies brings the scattered whales back together. The whales stroke the stunned calf with their flippers and gently lift him to the surface. Still, he does not move. Beluga calf circles nervously as the adults try again. This time the calf breathes. The pod does not travel far that day. Beluga's calf's friend is weak and all are weary. What does it mean to be weary? From their unexpected meeting with the orcas, pausing to rest under broken ice, the whales quickly fall asleep. Hours later, Beluga calf wakes up bumping against a hard surface. The ice has closed in to form a solid ceiling. How will she breathe? She turns to mother for help. Beluga mother knows what to do. Clicks echo through the water as she and the other adults seek out thin spots in the ice. What do you think they'll do when they find a thin spot? One morning, as Beluga Calf surfaces, she is startled to hear a Beluga screeching. Beluga Calf looks across the ice at a strange creature. Though white, it is not smooth and slender like a Beluga. It is coarse and heavy, and it does not sing. It snarls and growls. With powerful teeth and huge paws, a polar bear has yanked a yearling Beluga up through a hole in the ice. The wild-eyed whale thrashes about in a fight for his life. Beluga calf sinks beneath the ice, numb with fear. She sees the yearling finally wrench free of claws that leave red stripes. The yearling's pod has been circling anxiously nearby. Now they warble and rub against him. His wounds will heal. Do you notice how they take care of one another? Just like we do with our families. Splash, splash. The polar bear's paws stir up the water again. The belugas watch silently. After a moment, the paws disappear. A bristly muzzle dips in and out. Polar bear feet thud overhead. The belugas listen as the footsteps grow faint. The danger has passed. Sensing that the journey's end is near, beluga calf's pod pushes forward. Finally, the whales cross the Bering Strait and leave polar bears behind. They leap through the swells of the Bering Sea, joining other pods that have already arrived. Here, the ice is powerless. It only floats in broken chunks. Beluga calf and mother race to the surface, then swoop back down. They add their voices to a chorus of trills and whistles. All around them, white whales sing. The sea canaries have reached their winter home. Did you like it? My favorite part was when the, um, all the whales got together to help the injured baby. A lot of interesting things about the beluga whales in there. And after reading the story, perhaps you could write your own story about an animal that you can find out about. 
and also do some research about other type of whales. I'd like if you could find out about what other animals do during the winter. Do some of them move to warmer places? Do they migrate? Do some of them hibernate? There are a lot of interesting things you could research, but you need to ask an adult if they could help you on the computer to do that research. So until next time, my friends, happy reading.